Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you the Argent wallet, how to set it up, and then how to transfer money to it, and then actually how to use it, because this is one of the biggest wallets coming out of ZK Sync, which is a layer 2 on Ethereum, meaning it uses a lot of the same technology as Ethereum, but it is solving the problem of getting more people into crypto, because right now it's very... Uh, I guess stressful for people to think that a 12 or 24 word seed phrase is all that keeps them from their money. This allows you to have a phone number and an email to connect to your wallet. You can even authorize people to back up your word. Like they can, if you lose your phone or your wallet, you can authorize, say, your mother to come and say, hey, if you authorize me, I can get access to my wallet again. So this is one of the biggest innovations coming into the wallet space. And if this one doesn't take off, one of them will. And this is actually one of them that is giving a huge airdrop. ZK Sync is introducing their own coin, and it's going to be huge. So just to share with you real quick how much the fees are, it is essentially 11 cents to send ETH when sending ETH is 20 times that. With that, let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Evan with Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we talk all about making money in the crypto space, a lot to do with yield farming and other different opportunities in the space. And what we're doing right now is we're trying to get more and more people to get into yield farming. We actually we actually created one of the only yield farming masterminds out there in the entire crypto space. A in-depth course that takes you from knowing nothing or if you know something into knowing everything you need to know about yield farming and knowing the best projects, opportunities, when to get in, when to get out. So if that's something you're interested, check a link in the description. Fill out the quick form. We're offering a heavy discount for the first cohort that goes through. It's doing community base. So we're just doing it all together and learning. We're going to offer collaboration, all that. So if that's something you're interested, check the link in the description. But... Let's also jump into this right here. So, so we're going to just do a walkthrough with slides. Um, this is the Argent Wallet startup screen. Remember, this is an iOS or an Android app. Just type in A-R-G-E-N-T and get it. It's probably good that you do that right now so we can walk through and do this together. So go ahead and download that app right now. All right, so the next part about this is uh, you're going to create your wallet. So most of you would probably not have already created an Argent wallet, but if you did lose your wallet or got a new phone, you would click already have a wallet. So let's just go to create a new wallet. Um, so this is the first part. This is your username. So this is also .argent.xyz. It's kind of maybe an email type situation, but just choose a username you're going to remember. Uh, put that down. Enter a phone number. Remember, this is for backing up. This is so you don't need a seed phrase. So there's multiple ways to back up if you lose your wallet, your phone, any of that. So enter a phone number that you're going to keep or remember. Um, also, then you confirm the authentication code to show that you really own that phone number. Um, the next is which email should you use to notify. In this picture, it says a at argent.xyz. That does not matter. Just choose any old email um, that you use and that you have access to and you will have access to in the future. And this is the two-factor authentication. One is phone number, one is your email. So then we're going to go through this, and we're going to actually have to verify that email. It's good. shows that it's yours. shows that you have access. And then at this point, it starts registering the wallet. Remember, they used to charge you to register a wallet, to create a wallet. And now they have a fund that allows you to create a wallet, which actually costs them money because it's a smart contract transaction for free. So we go through. We then also choose a six-digit passcode, just like whatever set of numbers you usually like that uh, you will always remember, and it'll help you get into your app and your wallet faster. And this allows you, you know, if you have the thumbprint or if you have the facial recognition, whatever it is, uh, you can enable that so you don't even need to do the six-digit passcode every time you want to get into your wallet. And congratulations. Right now, you should have an Argent wallet. On the left-hand side, the black is the actual screen of the app on the right. We're just going to go through it right here. So this is the best of Ethereum at a fraction of the price. One of the coolest things about ZK Sync is if you have a bunch of money in your wallet and you send to someone, they can backtrack and see what you have in your wallet. ZK Sync allow, doesn't allow that to happen, so it's, it's anonymous. There's privacy baked into this, which is amazing. You can earn up to 15% on DAI or USDC by doing nothing, just holding it in your wallet. Truth is, um, it's about 8% right now, 8.5, which is still amazing. The fees are 1 30th, 1 20th, 1 40th of the, of the price of Ethereum. 
very secure. And yeah, you can stake from the app and you can trade in the app. It does everything. It's actually a very, very good app. Um, so what we're going to do is look at the app. So I'm going to just bring this back up to the top so you know what we're talking about. And on the left, we're going to get into the app right here. So I've already transferred a little bit of money in, but let's just click on this. So this is it. This is the home screen. Tap on that top left button. It allows you to create an Ethereum wallet, but we don't really want to do that. We just want ZK Sync. Settings in the bottom there. That was a little hard for me to find initially. So what we can do is we can hide our balance if you have people around you. It's just kind of fun. Or you can tap on it and show. And balance is kind of fun if you like have an app. You're just like, you know, don't want everyone to see how much money you have. It allows this privacy feature, which is good. Activity shows you sent a little money in. Investing allows you to trade cryptos right here. So if I wanted to buy, you know, Ethereum, I could do a little bit right here. And it also shows you the price that it's changed. So it's kind of like a good little trading app. Go to Matic at 145. Okay, perfect. And then you're making just by holding it 8.37% on USDC and 7% on ETH. Like very few places, like Lido is not even paying out that much. Okay, so you can even send money to a friend. Like if we we're going to just trade, spray, send a gift to someone, choose an amount, USDC. Uh, let's send them 10 bucks. You can choose an amount. And then the network fee. Argent does not profit from this. There is a little bit of a network fee to send it to someone, but that's fine. So you're going to create a gift. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess I'm creating the gift right now. <laughs> and then we share our gift to somebody. Um, so you can share your gift link. But right now, we're going to just forget about that and just realize we have a gift we need to send somebody. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do right now is go into actually getting some money here. So we're going to go to receive. Remember for your very first transfer in, it allows you to do it for free by clicking this in the middle. Um, just know I kind of like to put a little money in, get confident with the system and then drop a bigger amount because they're paying the 3% transaction fee, which is huge. So. United States, U-N-I-T-E-D, so United States, we're gonna put in 10,000 bucks. We're gonna actually shoot for USDC. Remember, they are charging you 3%, which is crazy. So if you wanna onload a bunch of money to ZK Sync from a, from a debit card, or actually from, yeah, from a debit card, this is absolutely the way to do it. Uh, but you can only do it once, and then they'll start charging you. So just hold that one, uh, hold that one special. You can see your money here. So let's go to receive. I would say just doing it from an exchange is a good way to do it. I've done this through what they call layer swap. We're gonna just do, do USDC. We're gonna do Coinbase. It knows our wallet. There is a $2 fee, but remember, look, if you were to crank this up with the max is 1500, um, the fee is $8. So that's 0.5, like half of 1%. But if you did 50 bucks, it's uh, 4%. But, you know, let's just play around for now. This is the example. And there's a lot of airdrops coming if you start messing around with Argent. So it's great. Sending in, in between wallets, getting on the getting on the system. It's it's It could be a huge possibility because this could be one of the biggest layer two chains that has their own coin out there. This is going to be huge. So, yeah, let's go ahead and swap this and I'll take you through what this takes. This took a little bit to figure out. There's a lot of steps, a lot of authorizing. So we're going to just continue. We are gonna go press continue. I've already signed into my Coinbase account. Um, you know, one of the things is, yeah, if, you know, if, if you need a, a little help, you just click on get this step-by-step -step guide and you just say get started. And pretty much you just go next, next, next. It tells you what to do. Click connect. You'll be redirected to Coinbase. You wanna make sure you change the amount from $1 to at least 55. So whatever amount you're sending, five bucks over. And then you would change it right there by doing it. We can just go through this and do this right now. Save, very detailed directions. All right. So now let's just go to connect. So throw in your Binance uh, contact information. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here. Sorry, I said Binance, I meant Coinbase. We're just doing Coinbase, not Binance. See in this, um, in the middle left, click on change that amount. Make this at least 55. I'd say five bucks over the amount you're spending. So 55, we're gonna go to save. We're gonna go to authorize that amount. 
And there is a few steps that go on with this. This is just part of their process to make this secure. We're going to send that 50. Confirm that. They should maybe do a two-factor authentication somewhere. Here it is. So they want you to go to, to Coinbase. Copy that. Go back to your Argent wallet. Sorry. Go back to your Chrome. Throw it in here. Let that process. And this ZK Sync is pr surprisingly quick. Waiting for Coinbase confirmation. You may have to validate an email if this is the first time you're doing it. But just know, swap successful. I always like to check, check and explore. Um, initiated. So ZK Sync, you can never send out of Coinbase on almost anything but Ethereum. So what we can check right now is just go back to our app. Get out of here. And see if it's updated. We can go to activity. Yeah, we've got um, the 47 bucks that came in there. So we should go back. And yeah, we have it. So remember, we got charged uh, $2.20, but that is not too bad. I've even sent a gift to no one. I'm going to try to figure out what to do with that later. Um, but here, look, you have money. In the worst case scenario, it's sitting there making you 8%. Pretty secure, actually extremely secure. And just to give you a little insight into what ZK Sync has coming for the future, because you're like, okay, does ZK Sync mean anything? It's just a silly little wallet. Let me show you right now. So just to show you quickly on their site, two of the biggest projects out there, Curve, the biggest project is going to ZK Sync. Um, also, Vitalik talks a little bit about it. Um, Argent, the wallet we're talking about, and Balancer, another big project. So a ton of these huge um, blue chip, giant, um, I mean, just to show you right now, if we're going to DeFi Llama, Curve is the absolute biggest protocol right here, and they're coming over to ZK Sync. So they got 17, 18 billion dollars, along with well, Convex is on Ethereum, Maker, Balancer. So Balancer's down here. They're also coming over. It's going to be absolutely huge in my eyes. And just to show you what people think, this is sentiment. We can check what. I mean, right here. Look at this is Maker Dow, the creator of Dai, Dai stablecoin. Where do people want to move their DAI from Ethereum? Some people say Arbitron, but some people say ZK Sync, because not many people have heard of it. But this is this is actually getting big, and this is out of 5,000 votes. So this has the sentiment of being one of the biggest Layer 2s out there. But they don't have a native token, and they really have nothing built out. So just keep your eyes peeled. This will be a huge project. Make sure to like the video. Put a lot of brain power in making these things. Try to help you out and make a little money in crypto. And the goal of this channel is to get you to $50 of passive income in crypto. So if that's something you're into, check the link in the description. Subscribe. we got more content coming every other day. All right. See you guys soon.